gonna get ready to chip. We've got that pile there. Yeah, that doesn't look so impressive. How about that other pile over there? That looks more impressive. That is taller than me. Yeah, so that was our project yesterday. Yep. Got the whole clump of buckthorn removed. Yep. So in preparation for chipping, we noticed right from the get-go that the distance between our chipper blades. I'm gonna come over here and look. Can you see down in there? The distance between the blade uh, yes. and the, what's called the anvil, which is on the right. Uh-huh. That, that right there. Yeah. That should be 1 16th of an inch or 1 32nd. That does not look like 1 16th or 1 32nd of an inch to me. Nope. So we put some calls in and emails in and haven't heard back, but uh, Colin and I did a little research of our own or reconnoitering here and yep. it looks like we just have to loosen three bolts from the bottom okay and there's a little space to slide it back and forth so you're so just gonna, gonna adjust do. it yeah so Sweet. to get to it i've got to remove the battery i think colin's right oh we'll yeah move, move the battery and so we'll take care of that and then once i get that out we can video from underneath and show everybody what we're doing yeah i can only do little like one eight turns on each one because it's stuck between two things. There we go. Yep. Alright. Got all three pieces Yep. Put this in. Alright, so now that should be All right, so now that should give us just enough access for in here. So I'm loosening the two on the outside so that We'll do the middle last. That'll be our pivot point. We also noticed that it wasn't square side to side, you know. So this will get us to be able to square it up. And this should mean that then the machine has to work less because it's doing less thick chips. Did not make it easy to get access. That's for darn sure. All right, they're all loose. Yeah. That's going to be your spacer? That's going to be my spacer. Let me see them. Just some zip, zip ties. Okay. They're about some somewhere between a 16th and a 32nd. Okay. All right. So this is the flywheel that rotates. And on the flywheel, we have the blades which cut the wood. And on the inside of the flywheel, we have, this is the automatic feed, and then this is called the anvil. And what we want is we want this space that's right here to be closer to one and sixteenths inches. Yeah, but by the blade, so we gotta bring the blade over there. Oh, that's I see. The, that's the space we want to That's the space we want to narrow. Okay, yeah. so I can I see that spacer thing that you had? Uh -huh. I just want to see how big of a, how big we have to adjust. So we want it about the width of this. And you see that it is not even close to that okay. close. Three, four times too wide. Okay. What are you doing here, Stephen? Uh, I'm just trying to tie it, but I think it has to be even looser. So we're gonna have to get the right size Allen. This one is loose enough. I'll try to try to loosen up that one. We see how it's fighting me. Uh huh. It's just not loose enough. Caked in, you know. Mm -hmm. And 
Can't get the <laughs> Allen wrench in there. Should be loose enough. You can see I can turn it. But it, yeah. for tightening, it'll be nice to get this out. So you can actually do something. Yep, there we go. Nice. There we go. And then this close one. Oh, it seems good. All right. All right. All right, so what you're seeing here is underneath the anvil was then, I'm gonna call this the anvil plate. And the anvil plate is what's gonna slide back and forth to set the anvil distance. So it, we, need to, we need to loosen these just a little bit to slide in the grooves. If you get that, you can see how they're slotted grooves there. So we have to loosen the anvil bolts just so that it can uh, slide back and forth. But the reason that it didn't really move is because the anvil plate, what we're calling the anvil plate, that's actually what moves back and forth. And it was still locked in. So we're learning as we go. None of this, by the way, is in the manual. So if you're wondering, well, why don't you just read the manual? Not in the manual. Um, but we're figuring it out. And we decided we were going to take everything out so that we can clean it. And uh, that's what we've done. And now we're gonna put it all back together and hopefully we don't have any spare parts. Okay, so after much fiddling, uh, if you look down here, this is your uh, flywheel. And then we're gonna look inside here, which is not gonna be easy. Wait, I'm gonna flip my thing. There we go. That'll be better. And let's see if I can get it focused. There we go. So what we're looking at is this gap right here. And again, this zip tie that I'm using is about 1 16th. And you can see that it slides in and out, so it's not stuck at all, but it also is quite close. And I checked it here, and then I also checked it on this side, which is gonna be harder for you to see. Um, Colin, can you rotate this for me? You wanna rotate the flywheel so that, whichever way. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Okay, down a little bit. You want to rotate the flywheel so that this, you're measuring the distance between this plate right here and this anvil right here. So you have to rotate your flywheel so that it's all lined up and then you can see that again, it's not getting stuck, but it's also um, very close. So we are, we're probably about 1 16th, maybe 1 20th away, but it's pretty stinking good. A lot better than it was. All right. All right. So now we're seeing that we got about the 1 16th of an inch all the way front to back, significantly better squared off <laughs> and uh, both blades fit. So we're in good shape. Okay. okay. Yep. All right. That's it. And we're going to just put it back together and we'll Chips and buckthorn. That is an OE, isn't it? What 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 is an OE? Operator error. Oh <laughs> no! So I put this so, in, which yeah. actually isn't too wide. Yeah, right? yeah, I yeah. mean, it's a good size, but yeah. it's not too wide. Sure. But see, it forks into this thing mm, here. Yep. And in my mind, it was going to go like this and just, and it was going to be perfect. Yeah. But in reality, it went perfectly sideways, and these two things got just wedged, wedged just up wedged. against the side of the thing, yep. and. We okay. had to take the whole thing apart. But 
seriously for an hour you've been chipping there's your pile that's not there anymore i know one hour it's all gone and one jam yeah and it was an oe jam and it was an oe jam okay that's not bad it's not bad and because of those wing nuts yes easy access I know. <laughs> well steve yes <sighs> This busy, was a uh, busy weekend. Busy weekend, yes. It yeah. really was. It and really today was. we were supposed to kind of take the day off and not do very much, and yet we managed to fill up all the hours, and now I'm tired. It was because, I mean, these are massive buckthorn. They're five to seven inches in diameter. Yeah. And 20 feet tall. I, I mean, know. they're massive. They're very tall. When I was so, chipping them today, yes. I, I'm like standing at the chipper and the the end of the tree is like whacking the pole barn. I'm like, holy yeah. cow. This yeah, is well, like and those are cut in, and those are cut in half. Yes. Colin and I were able to move the anvil closer to the cutting knife on the chipper. All good things. So now that works way, way better. And I got rid of both the uh, piles of oh. buckthorn. Yes, so yes. One of the piles was taller than Lee. It was about my height. It was. So it was. It was, getting, it was, it was ridiculous. approaching six yes. feet. Mm -hmm. So, and now it's completely gone. It is completely gone. I am so happy. Yeah. So, are we going to do anything this week? During the week? Yeah. No, we're going to no. work. I'm no. going to work. I'm going to work. I'm going to work. My, I'm going to work. As I always I'm gonna do. I'm going to work. You're going to work. I'm going to work. Gonna work. We're going to work. So yeah. we'll, we'll see everybody on the weekend again. <laughs>